ERC is really an experiment to see how we can use unmanned aircraft technology to do some public good really. Drones have had a lot of bad press because they're usually associated uh, with military purposes, they're quite often sort of military hardware uh, and stories that come out about drones are, are very, very often uh, stories of civilian casualties. We're well aware of that, but we decided that actually at the end of the day drones are uh, just a tool, they're as much uh, a tool for good uh, as any other tool that we might uh, choose to use. Um, and in this particular instance we're deploying them to do search and rescue missions. One of the obvious applications will be the mountain rescue service where they often have to go out into quite hostile environments to search for missing people. So the purpose of this, this project was really to see can we actually use some of this unmanned technology in conjunction with mountain rescue service to actually go and locate perhaps an injured or missing person and can it actually speed up the time it takes to, to actually find them. I, I think it's fascinating. Um, I mean, technology is kind of uh, more and more um, useful to us in many rescue teams. There's all sorts of things that come on, you know, GPS tracking on our radios, and being able to star lock people and so on. Um, so I, can, I guess we're kind of watching with interest in terms of the application of this and why we're keen to be involved. There's a lot of software that can go on board uh, an unmanned aircraft to, to look at imagery, uh, but it's not particularly reliable at the moment. So we wonder whether we could use uh, the kind of collective sort of power of a thousand pairs of eyes to look at material, to look at footage that our AeroC drone had created and help them out and rescue by tagging images of things that they thought were m maybe kind of could be identified as a, an injured walker or a, or a climber. Well those images basically get, get sent back to our web server and there's some software running on the web server which uh, processes all of that. It looks at the statistics, it says where, where are people tagging? So if we get a photograph with lots of tags, that might be an indication that there, there really is something in that image. Um, so it helps us filter out perhaps false alarms where someone might place an inaccurate tag. All that information, all that data is fed back to the mountain rescue before they kind of send their teams out. Uh, they can decide whether they think that that's genuinely worth deploying um, a team to go and have a, a further look in, in that uh, particular kind of vicinity. So it saves time, it saves energy, but the other cool thing about it is that it enables people to get involved in active search and rescue missions. You know, there are, there are a, a whole range of uh, issues that kind of still need to be thought through, as you know, in terms of using these unmanned um, crafts to search and beaming those images back. You know, the, the, I guess the kind of considerations are, you know, the weather, the time that, the, that these can fly for currently. So I, I think it's kind of watched with interest as it developed.